Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is February 7th, 2024, and Deco has made a decision on who will be Barcelona's first signing in the summer transfer market. Also, Bayern Munich are fully confident that if they make an offer high enough, that Barcelona will be unable to reject it and they will see to sell in Ronda Araujo and I will tell you how much that offer is. And finally, Javi Martinez has given us an insight on what it's like to be managed by a coach like Hansi Flick. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and just a quick reminder that tonight will be Barca News' live podcast at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where not only do we discuss Barcelona news, but I also get to interact with you guys live through the chat section, reading your comments out loud, answering any questions and get a discussion going. Having said that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment. All of this helps this channel continue to grow. Now I begin with the news that Barcelona have officially began organizing the preseason summer tour which will take place once again in the United States of America. Now Barcelona have already began communication with other clubs in order to schedule possible friendlies during this summer tour and it's reported that Barcelona have reached out to Real Madrid, Juventus and Inter Milan in order to organize these friendly matches and Barcelona are also in search to, uh, for an MLS team that would, that would be willing to play a friendly match against Barcelona during this summer. Now as I reported in a previous video, Barcelona had reached out to Inter Miami in order to organize a friendly match with Lionel Messi's side but unfortunately Inter Miami said no because the dates that Barcelona are planning to visit the US the same dates that Inter Miami are going to be playing the League's Cup. So unfortunately, we'll not be able to see Lionel Messi, Busquets, Jordi Alba, and Luis Suarez facing Barcelona. But it is reported that Inter Miami are helping Barcelona get in contact with other MLS clubs to see who can Barcelona play against during a preseason tour. Now, Barcelona are going to have to organize the summer tour around the incredibly hectic summer calendar because during this summer we're gonna have the Copa America which will take place between June 21st to July 15th. There's also the Euro Cup which will take place between June 15th to July 15th and following both tournaments we have the Olympics in Paris which will start July 26th and go all the way to August 11th. So an incredibly hectic calendar for players this summer. So Barcelona are gonna have to figure out how to work out the preseason tour around this incredibly busy calendar where many players will be reporting to their national teams. And speaking of the summer 2024, it's reported that Deco has officially made a decision on who will be Barcelona's first signing for the summer transfer market. And that signing will be no other than Aleix Garcia. Now the 26 year old midfielder who currently plays for Girona had expressed a few months ago his desire to make a switch to FC Barcelona and Barcelona attempted to sign Aleix Garcia during the winter transfer market but they were unable to do so because of the financial fair play rule restrictions and plus because they opted to instead bring in Vitor Roque in the winter transfer market over signing Aleix Garcia. Now of course Aleix Garcia also said no to Barcelona because despite his desire to play for the Blaurana club, he wanted to remain with Girona because he didn't want to leave his team hanging midway through the season. Plus, he wanted to make history with Girona, which they are already doing it. And of course, Girona were also not in favor of letting go one of their fundamental pieces of Mitchell's project. So as such, this transaction did not happen, but it's reported that Deco has already made the final decision to go after Aleix Garcia in a summer transfer market. Now Garcia does have a contract with Girona until 2026. It's reported that his release clause is around 20 million euros, but Barcelona think that it's around more 15, 50 million euros, which makes its operation affordable for the club. And it's reported that Barcelona are also considering including players in this transaction, players like Eric Garcia or Pablo Torre, two players who are currently on loan with Girona, 
and who Girona are very happy with their performance. Now it's reported that Barcelona could also include Uriol Romeo because Uriol Romeo has not worked out for Barcelona. However, Girona still want him back because he had a great season with the other Catalonia club. So it, there is a possibility that Barcelona could also include Romeo in this transaction. But of course, we're gonna have to wait and see what comes out of these negotiations. Now it is reported that Deco has already reached out to Alej Garcia's agents to let them know that Barcelona are interested in signing him in the summer. Deco has also reached out to Girona and already started the line of communication to let the Girona club officially that Barcelona are interested in signing Alej Garcia. So of course the negotiations will begin soon and we're gonna have to see what Barcelona come up with in order to sign the 26 year old midfielder. Now it is reported that Barcelona's ideal situation would be to extend the loans of Eric Garcia with an option to buy plus extend the loan of Pablo Torre but with no option to buy because Barcelona are still not willing to part ways with Pablo Torre and this would be as part of the transaction to buy El Alej Garcia. So in other words, Barcelona would tell Girona, sell us Alej Garcia, we'll pay you some cash, plus we'll let you have both Eric Garcia and Pablo Torre for another season with an option to buy for Eric Garcia so Girona can keep him on a permanent basis. And of course, Oriol Romeo could also factor into this operation, but we're going to have to wait and see. But one thing is is being uh, spoken about right now is that Barcelona are not yet ready to part ways with Pablo Torre but of course all of that can change depending on what Girona come back with as far as counter offers. And speaking of the summer transfer market it's reported that Bayern Munich are confident that if they make Barcelona a high enough offer Barcelona will be unable to say no given the club's financial situation. And it's reported that Bayern Munich are willing to offer 100 million euros for Ronald Araujo believing that Barcelona will not be able to say no to that amount of money. Now, Ronald Araujo has made it very clear that he has no intention of leaving Barcelona. He's very happy, not only at the club, but also living in the city of Barcelona. He also feels incredibly important on and off the field, especially after he received the captain's armband. And of course, Barcelona's position is that Ronald Araujo is not for sale. And in fact, they've already started working on extending the Uruguayan defender's contract past its expiration of 2026, of course, with an increased salary in order to shut down all these rumors of Ronald Araujo leaving the club. Now, despite this, Bayern Munich are fully confident that if they offer Barcelona 100 million euros, they'll be able to persuade them to sell Ronald Araujo to the Bundesliga club. And Bayern Munich are also confident that they, uh, by offering Ronald Araujo double the salary that he's currently receiving, plus offering him a project that's capable of winning the Champions League, that Ronald Araujo will also be able to be persuaded and land in one of the biggest signings in the history of Bayern Munich, a signing that the German club consider that is absolutely critical to Thomas Tuchel's project and critical to winning another Champions League. And speaking of Bayern Munich, the former Bayern Munich player, Javi Martinez, has spoken to Gerard Romero from Gigantes, giving us all an insight of what it's like to play under the management of Hansi Flick. Now Javi Martinez said, Hansi Flick is a very good group manager and a very good coach. At Bayern, he made us like motorcycles. We were very good. For Barca, I don't know. I'm worried about the barrier of language. It's very important. He's a very clear coach. He always tells you what he thinks to your face. He is calm. You have to mess with him a lot for him to get angry. In the locker room, he first calms everyone down and then speaks. Flick's training sessions are intense, but they are always with the ball. In Germany, we all train in the afternoon with a physical trainer, and that's where all the players change. It's a different culture. Flick's way of playing is total Barca. We play with him in Pep style, with the center backs at the back and the ball coming out from there. So Javi Martinez making the point that Hansi Flick would be a perfect coach for Barcelona because he likes to focus on the possession of the ball. He plays just like Pep Guardiola according to Javi Martinez but with the difference is that Hansi Flick's Bayern were a lot more intense or played with a lot more intensity because as Javi Martinez explained in the afternoon, they specifically train only with physical trainers in order to develop that physicality from the players and making them a lot more intense, a lot faster and running a lot more 
than usually what Barcelona is accustomed for, which is something that Jan Laporta has been is looking for in his next coach. Someone that can continue playing a Barcelona way with the possession of the ball, but to be able to make Barcelona style of play more intense in order to adapt it to modern time that requires a lot more intensity. And Javi Martinez, of course, did play un under Hansi Flick as part of the Bayern Munich squad. He was part of that Bayern Munich squad that won the sixth double. So, of course, he does know what he's talking about. He's not giving this opinion as someone looking from the outside in. He's someone giving his opinion uh, being from the inside out. So, it's something definitely to take into consideration. Now, speaking of Hansi Flick, Fabrizio Romano has confirmed something I reported about a couple of days ago, which is that Hansi Flick is dying to come to Barcelona. He's very excited about the opportunity to train uh, Barcelona. And there's other reports saying that he has actually already started learning Spanish, which goes to show how excited Flick is to arrive in the city of Barcelona. This is, of course, after Deco made an official call to Hansi Flick to let him know that he's one of the candidates that Barcelona are considering to replace Xavi Hernandez in the summer. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. Finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Biscarza.